and welcome to my very messy office. For today's video, I thought it would be fun and very, very satisfying to clean up my office space together. Usually, you guys are used to seeing it look like this, but today, realistically, after taking a couple of weeks off over Christmas, it looks like this. And this is the worst it's ever looked, so today we're going to be doing a lot of cleaning, decluttering, and organizing to get this space back into working condition. It's the first working day of the year, it's Monday the 6th of January 2020, and I feel like having a clear workspace is so much better to be more productive and to think better, so that is the aim of today. So how did this space end up looking like this? Since we're away over Christmas, we haven't really been in here for about two weeks. I also went to stay over at my mom's place for Christmas for a few days and I took a bunch of stuff with me and when I brought it back I never ended up putting it away. We've also had a lot of 40 plus degree Celsius days so we've been pumping the aircon that we have in the office and leaving the door open to cool down as much of the house as possible. However, we do live with a naughty little monster who loves to jump up on our shelf and knock over a lot of the decorations and film and cameras and stuff that we have up there. So we've had to take that all down so she couldn't do any major destruction. We also ordered a bunch of packaging for our wedding clients for swoon weddings and we need to find a place for that all to go because right now it's just sitting in a pile on our desk. And last but not least, we basically just need to have a little bit more organization and give everything in this office a place to go so we can put all the little things that are lying around back in its place as well. So we have Dan joining us today cleaning up the office. Do we know? Yes. <laughs> so the first job is to put things back up on the shelf so we are back on EV patrol duty. Mm -hmm. And up on the shelf we've got things like we care about but not that much just in case she knocks them over but we, <laughs> we do patrol her. <laughs> First step is done, putting stuff back up on the shelf, and now we're gonna clean up the table that's right underneath the shelf. In this cupboard is where my camera gear usually goes. I like to store my camera bag in here because it's out of the way. So I'm gonna repack my camera bag and organize all this so it's back to looking like normal. This is the camera bag that I took with me to my mom's place for Christmas because me and my sister wanted to take some photos of each other. I ended up taking the Canon 5D Mark IV with the Tamron 35 1.8 and I also took with me the Tamron 35 uh, 1.4 as well so those were two nice lenses to have with me so I'm going to take out stuff like the charging cables which I don't need and this USB dock that I don't need as well I'm going to keep the two Tamron lenses in my bag I'm just going to put them in tighter spots and then I'm going to start by taking out all the batteries that are in my cupboard behind me so I've got all my 5D4 batteries here. I also have my flash triggers that I use for weddings. I normally like to leave these in my camera bag too, just so they don't get lost. And then I normally like to pack my usual wedding kit into my camera bag. So I've got my second 5D4 body with the Canon 135 F2. I'm also gonna put the 85 1.2 in here as well. I'm gonna put the Canon 50mm 1.2 in my bag too. And also the Zony, Zony, Sony Zeiss, is it a Zeiss? No, Sony G Master 85mm 1.2 for in my camera bag and that is pretty much all I have space for wow it's heavy it's pretty much all I have space for <laughs> in here so this packed camera bag is basically gonna go into my cupboard and then depending whatever the first photo shoot is for the year I'll just repack it and then when I come home I put as much as whatever fits in here as possible and then back into the cupboard. And welcome to my cupboard. We're gonna finish taking everything out of here that's not supposed to be in here. The top part of the shelf is where I've got some more space for extra lenses and accessories that don't fit in my camera bag. Since lenses aren't that tall, Dan also installed this little shelf at the top of the cupboard. So I keep my laptop there and I also keep my Wacom tablet up there as well since I don't use it every day. up to cleaning up our office desk so that's my side and that's Dan's side. You guys always ask me where our table is from. It's actually an old barn door that someone put some iron legs onto it so you can't actually buy it anywhere. It's a custom table. Um, yeah, so there you go. <laughs> got me 
me this mini Instax uh, light play or lead play, I don't know how to pronounce it, for Christmas. And it's got a screen in the back, it also has an app so you can print any photo that you want on this Instax Polaroid film. And this also has an SD card slot so you can take photos and then download it on your computer as well. Just kind of crazy so let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see a video about this as you can see from our wall behind us we take a lot of polaroid photos so i thought it would be a fun video to make um yeah let me know now i need to fix up this polaroid wall with a couple of pegs that we got from ebay with some more polaroids because evie loves to come and destroy all the polaroids that are down the bottom she really likes to get to the pegs um, so i need to do that mentioned this table is one of a kind so we do need to take care of it. About three months ago we used this wax polish beeswax thing on the table which really really helped because we love the natural finish of the table already. We didn't want to use any other kind of varnish. We wanted to use something that would restore and condition the original wood that we already have. the physical cleanup of the office because I work digitally in photography and online I also have to do a digital cleanup before I can get started on anything so stuff like backing up photo shoots and things like that are all done because I do that first thing when I download a photo shoot I back it up straight away into two different places and then again when I finish editing it I also update those backups and have one online backup of my JPEGs it's all the other files such as like my desktop and my downloads folder and things like that that I don't really take care of that often so I really want that all cleaned up before I get started on the work year. So I like to use Adobe Bridge to do this because it's kind of like Finder but you have really good thumbnails of all your files. I tend to take a lot of screenshots of things which I really need to organize so I'm going to start with my desktop. I have random things like screenshots of locations that I want to shoot in, screenshots of orders that I've made, got a bunch of random receipts on my desktop as well. So all the receipts I'm going to give a star and then I'm going to back them up onto a hard drive. You know what I'm just realizing? I really need to clean out my Dropbox folder as well. <laughs> I'm just trying to find a folder in here right now and there are so many folders so I need to get rid of them. And then the next thing I need to do is get rid of a lot of photos that are on my phone. While I use the Google Pixel a lot more to take photos, my makeup artist Lydia actually shoots a lot of behind the scenes on her iPhone. So I bring my phone so she can airdrop that to me. And also, as you guys may or may not know, I also have a free photo editing app, which is called Digital Film App. And it's free to download on the App Store, but it's only available for iOS. So I also edit those behind the scene photos that she takes here. I'm just gonna select all the images and all the old images before I started using the Pixel and airdrop them to my computer, just so I have a backup of everything that was on my iPhone. And all the behind the scene photos that Lydia took that I'm deleting are all the ones that I've pretty much posted already from photo shoots that I've already shared on YouTube and on Instagram and stuff, so. I'll keep like one or two, but for the most part, I'll delete a lot of the more repetitive looking photos just so I don't have as many photos on my storage. Well, we managed to clean up the office finally. It feels so much better to be in here now that everything is back in its place. It's clean and I'm ready to like get started on editing videos and working again this year. I'm employing the big guns <laughs> to professionally film the after photos. I know this was a bit of a different format and video really than what I usually do but I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it as satisfying as I did getting to see it go from an awful mess 
to an actual nice office again. So since I'm ready to get started on making videos again for 2020, I would love for you guys to let me know in the comments what kind of videos you wanna see from me this year. If there's any particular lenses or camera gear that you want me to try out, if there's any comparisons you want me to make, or if you want me to just do more creative photo shoots or maybe some more vlogs, I'd love to hear all your suggestions about what you want to see down in the comments below, because I would love to make videos that make you guys happy as well. So yeah, let me know finger guns. <laughs> but as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I make new videos every single week, so I will see you guys all next time. Bye! By the way, you know how I said I went to my mom's house for Christmas? She found this and gave it back to me. Do you guys remember this Polaroid camera? It's an iZone from like the 90s. <laughs> it was like such a flashback when I saw this again.